Welcome back to another Thousand Eyes video demonstration. So we're going to take a look at how to deploy an enterprise agent today. So you can see that everything's still as you would get if you just purchase Thousand Eyes. So to start off deploying an enterprise agent, we need to first go to cloud and enterprise agents. And then if we go to agent settings, and then you can see the tab here, enterprise agents. Um, you've also got cloud agents, agents labeled proxy settings. We'll, we'll look at these later on. So our main focus right now is enterprise agents. So we've got no enterprise agents at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to download a new enterprise agent. So to do that, we would click add new enterprise agent. And then as we discussed previously, um, you have a number of different um, formats in which you can download uh, the enterprise agents or make use of the enterprise agents. So appliances, um, so we've got the appliances for VMware, Hyper-V, physical, Raspberry Pi, custom appliance, uh, appliance for Cisco, iOS, XC, uh, for switches and routers, got a Linux package, got the uh, Docker installation instructions, and then we also have the Amazon Marketplace um, deployment as well so for our particular deployment and my environment I will focus on downloading the OVA file now so if I just press download you can see that that comes up there I'll just press OK on that and that will start to download once that's been downloaded and deployed, we'll just start to run this and you can see it's running for the first time here. So we'll just run through the installation of this now. So you can see once it's installed, it says welcome to Thousand Eyes. And just give it a few minutes to load. Now we can see that we are through to the uh, setup of the Thousand Eyes virtual appliance. Um, so we can see there it says that we don't have an IP address, so we need to sign one. So let's press N as it says. We can give it a host name. So let's just call this uh, thousand eyes double O one. And we're gonna do static IP address and we'll say one nine two one six eight ninety nine dot two what should we say? Say thirty five. Gateway. And we're not going to use IPv6, so we'll leave that disabled. My DNS for my lab is going to be twelve one Okay, so once you're happy with the settings, just double check them and press yes. You can see now it's going to go off and configure the network interface. So we can see now that it looks a little bit different. So we can see as well the username and the default password for the VA. And we can point our 
browser to the virtual appliance so let's go ahead and try that so we'll just proceed there because they don't trust the certificate which is fine login with admin and the password was welcome Now, when we first access the appliance, it will tell us to um, change the password. So let's change the default password. So that, and then we can see here that our password has changed uh, successfully as well. So that's fine. Let me just go back to network a minute, just make sure everything's okay. Then we can go down to agent again. So we can see that we've got our host name. So that's specified. We've statically assigned an IP address. And obviously these all depend on your environment and where you're deploying the virtual appliance. IPv6 is disabled, we've got our DNS um, settings there, web proxy we're not using, CA is optional so we'll leave that for this demonstration, um, so that we're all good with that time. We can see the primary NTP server it uses is from Ubuntu, so we can change that if we want to, but again for this demonstration we'll just leave it. We've just changed the uh, password on appliance access so we'll leave that um, we won't add any SSH keys as of now for this demonstration moving on to agent so now we need to get the account group token and if you're unsure away to get that from it does tell you underneath that you can obtain it from the platform settings on uh, the thousand eyes UI um, so let's let's just do that because that that you know start that is a requirement as well for this. So under the agent settings under cloud and enterprise agents, if we just go to add new agent, we can see that we've got the account group token here. So we can just copy that, copy that into there, and then once you're happy. We'll leave the browser bot set to yes and uh, crash report yes. Um, we'll continue with that. And then we should get down to the review. So I can see the agent setting safe successfully and review. So couldn't resolve host name. That's fine. There we go. It's changed now, so we can resolve host name. <clears throat> we can see that Thousand Eyes is basically contactable, so we should be good now to uh, complete that. And then once that's done, you can see that we've got the the status here. So we can always check the status from the virtual appliance as well if there's any uh, issues that are that are going on um, as well. So if we just go back to the um, user interface, we can see now that on Thousand Eyes we can see an agent now, and we can see our host name that we specified for this agent. We can see that it's got V4, it's running version four. Um, and we can see you will see that it's just been added as well so that's um, our new enterprise agent that's been configured we can disable it we can delete it if we want to um, or whatever we want to do with that um, so if we go back to dashboard You can see now as well that it shows instead of uh, nothing to display, we can see that one agent um, is is displayed. If you hover over that, you can see your uh, public IP address. You can see 
your private IP address that we've assigned and we can see the host name of that as well. So that's how you install and uh, get up and running with the enterprise agent, at least using the um, OVA as well, which are deployed. In the next video, we'll look at how we can actually start to uh, run tests against this uh, enterprise agent that we've configured.